Welcome to the lecture on analysis of amortization schedule. So, we had the introduction about the amortization concept uh, where we have mortgage uh, debt is there. So, in those cases we deal with uh, these principles. So, we know that uh, under these amortization methods we have long term of maturity may be from 15 to 30 years and uh, that determines basically the number of uh, you know payments which are usually monthly. So, uh, you if you are taking for suppose uh, 30 years in that in that case the number of payments will be 30 into 12 that is 360. So, like that uh, you have uh, these uh, payments which are uh, made monthly basis as a certain interest rate is applied a sequence of equal payments is set to show how the entire loan and in and its interest are to be paid off by the end of maturity. So, uh, in these cases uh, you know there is a certain interest rate uh, which is applied and that will be uh, known to you or that may change in between. So, either you have the fixed rate of interest or it may be variable rate of interest and then uh, you will be depending upon uh, that uh, basically you have uh, the equal uh, sequence or you know equal payments uh, sequence will be set and uh, uh, you know in that uh, whole uh, loan and interest are to be taken care of. So, we will see that how they are uh, you know being set and the, se the sequence of payments they are breakdown between principal and interest and the reduction in the outstanding balance the, that is called the amortization schedule. So, that is what the name of amortization schedule means that uh, you know how you are paying what is the breakdown between principal and interest means in every uh, you know uh, payment uh, you are paying a fixed amount every month and uh, uh, what part of it is basically the principal part what part of it is the uh, interest part and how it is uh, you know uh, going to change the outstanding balance of your loan. So, that basically you are going to you know see that. So, uh, let us see that uh, if you uh, take uh, the example of uh, one you know uh, loan and suppose uh, uh, you are uh, taking uh, a loan of uh, say uh, 1 lakh rupees. Now, uh, if suppose so you have a loan of uh, rupees 1 lakh and uh, your, uh, you are given that you are told that uh, the term is uh, 30 years and uh, uh, you know interest rate is uh, you are telling that it will be fixed. So, it interest rate is 8 percent fixed. Now, uh, you, you have to find its uh, amortization schedule how this loan is to be paid you know uh, every month. Now, what happens that uh, you have as we have discussed you have uh, two portions is one is MIP monthly interest portion another is your uh, you know MPP monthly principal portion and that will make you that will tot in total make PYT that is a monthly payment uh, uh, while we are repaying re doing the repayment of such loans. So, uh, uh, if you take this uh, interest rate 8 percent in that case we know that uh, uh, you have a formula uh, by which you can make this uh, A. So, some something has been paid now so that is your uh, CV or, or, or also you can say it will be also take as P as uh, uh, 1 lakh. We have to find A what is A uh, you know what will be the equal monthly payment. Uh, which has to be paid to uh, the person which has to be paid by the person uh, you know to the lender uh, and uh, you will know that your interest rate. So, interest rate basically uh, is given 8 percent fixed. So, if you are doing the monthly payment it will be 8 by 12 percent. So, that that is how uh, you know uh, the monthly interest will uh, work. So, it will be 0 0.08 by 12 and if you take n, n will be basically uh, uh, 30 years. So, 13 to 12, so it will be 360. So, if you use the uh, formula uh, where uh, 
uh, we have to find the a provided p in that case we know that uh, uh, we have uh, to find uh, a by so a will be p into and then you have a by p i n. So, that is what we have understood earlier and that formula a by p uh, i n will be i into 1 plus i raised to power n divided by 1 plus i raised to power n minus 1 something like that. So, you that can be basically uh, you know uh, uh, changed. So, so uh, a basically in these cases will be uh, C v into r divided by 1 minus uh, 1 plus r raised to the power minus n. So, so if you see this formula, uh, what will happen that uh, this will be 1 by 1 plus r raised to the power n that will go up. So, it will be C v into r into 1 plus r raised to the power n divided by 1 plus r raised to the power n minus 1 is the same formula, but uh, uh, you can use it uh, in a different way uh, and you can use even that formula also. So, if you put all these uh, you know, values uh, it, it will be coming. So, if you put uh, C v as 1 lakh then r as 0 0.08 by 12 and uh, n as 360. Now, in this case it will be coming as uh, uh, 733.76. So, if you do the computation uh, you will get this. It means you have to pay rupees 733.76 every month for 30 years if you have to repay the loan of uh, 1 lakh rupees. Now, let us see how uh, this uh, how your uh, outstanding balances are changing as you proceed. So, let us say that uh, you are we are talking about the term. So, that will be you know years. So, we are talking about the first year only. Now, let us say in the first year we are talking and uh, we are talking about the, the number uh, monthly term num payment uh, term number. So, we are going to talk in the that first payment, second payment, third payment, fourth payment, fifth payment, sixth payment, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh and twelfth. So, that is how your uh, uh, monthly payment will be there in the first year. So, this way it will go in the second year, then third year, fourth year, then it will go till 30 years. Now, in this case we know that your monthly payment P y t it is coming out to be 733.76 and it is going to be same by you for all the months. So, 733.76 will be the monthly payment by you uh, you know in, in that. Now, what we have to find? We have to find the monthly principal portion, we have to find the monthly interest portion. So, how much uh, you know interest we are paying and we will be talking about total uh, you know P y t total monthly payment what we are paying every time. So, that we will see and then we are also going to talk about loan balance. So, what is the balance at present? So, at present initially without paying anything we are starting with 1 lakh rupees and uh, then we have to see that how this uh, payment is going to vary. So, uh, as we know that uh, you have 8 percent of uh, you know fixed interest. So, the monthly income portion monthly interest portion at first time will be nothing but uh, you know based on this 8 percent fixed in uh, you know interest uh, for the 1 lakh rupees of principal amount. So, it will be 1 lakh and multiplied by you know uh, the interest uh, rate. So, that will be 0 0.08 by 12. So, it will be basically if you look at it will be 8000 by 12 and if you look at this uh, it will be 666.67. So, that is what is your this is your monthly interest portion uh, this will be for the first month. So, for first month the interest portion which has to be paid will be 
that is what it is here. So, you will have we which better we provide these uh, lines to see that how they are changing. So, in the first month your uh, interest portion has come out to be 666.67. Now, uh, since the monthly payment uh, is 733.76 rupees, it means uh, uh, the monthly principal portion will be in the uh, monthly payment minus the interest portion. So, that is the interest which is charged by the lender by the bank. So, the principal amount which uh, was 1 lakh out of that we have uh, you know uh, we have paid only an amount which is the uh, subtraction of this minus this. So, um, if we do the subtraction it will be uh, 67.09 it means we are only subtracting the 67.09 and uh, we are total payment is only 733.76 rupees by this time by first month and your loan balance will be 1 lakh minus the 733 uh, point no. So, it will be only uh, you know uh, principal portion will be uh, reduced. So, say in 1 lakh minus 67.09. So, it will be 99,932.91 rupees. So, that is the loan balance at the end of first month. Now, in the second month uh, what you will do is uh, that uh, you are going to first calculate the monthly uh, interest uh, portion and monthly interest portion will be uh, 8 percent on the basis of this 8 percent of this amount. So, uh, for that you will calculate uh, uh, 99,932 uh, multiplied by 0 0.08 divided by 12. So, it will be somewhat uh, lesser than the what we have paid in the first month and this will come out to be 666.21. And anyway we are paying uh, you know amount of 733. Uh, 76. So, your monthly principal portion what you are going to pay now it will be little more from 67.09 and it will be 67.55 and uh, your total uh, monthly payment which total uh, you know uh, PYT basically to date to up to date this this date that what we have, we have so you have paid the second installment so it will be 2 into 733.76. So, it will be 1467.52. So, uh, and your loan balance will be again 99932.91 minus this 67.51. So, it will be 99865.36. So, this is how uh, the, uh, the terms will uh, move. Uh, so, in, in the third year now you will uh, get it as uh, you know 68 and then your uh, uh, PYT will be coming out as 665.76 and this will be 3 times 733 point uh, you know uh, 76. So, it will be 2201.28 and your loan balance at the end of 3 month will be 99797 uh, and uh, point uh, 36. So, this way uh, your uh, you have uh, you will see that your payments are gradually uh, uh, moving uh, in the downward direction and at the end of uh, 12 months. So, you can uh, fill all these data and uh, just for example, if you look at uh, you know after uh, uh, 12 months if you see you can check it that if it is anyway 733.76 and your uh, in the twelfth month after the uh, you know uh, in that case your monthly uh, principal portion is coming out uh, to be 72.19 and uh, your uh, um, this portion is 61.57 
and total PYT will be 12 times 733.76. So, total PYT will be uh, coming out to be 8805.12 and your balance uh, at the end of 12 payments will be 99164.63. So, this is uh, you know your loan you have uh, the balance of 99164.63 at the end of one year of payment during that year of payment you have paid uh, you know the sum of all these uh, values as the monthly principal portion and that will be nothing but 1 lakh minus this it will be 800. Uh, 35.37. So, you have only paid in whole year you have basically paid uh, 8805.12 rupees altogether, but out of that uh, the principal portion which has been deducted from 1 lakh rupees it is only uh, 835.37. 37 rupees. So, that is what is uh, the only principal portion and rest is only rest is all the interest portion. The interest portion is charged by the lender and in the initial periods because outstanding balance is more they are charging more and more interest from you. So, that is how uh, these loan schedules uh, move uh, in uh, you know in the case of these mortgage loan payments where the interest rate is fixed. So, uh, this way the interest uh, you know uh, this payment will go on and if you try to uh, see that how uh, his uh, payments will be moving, how uh, his uh, you know uh, balances will be changing. So, that you can further see. So, if uh, we further uh, see the you know interest terms and this will be P Y T number and then you have the uh, PYT amount and uh, further you have uh, the uh, principal portion and then you have the uh, interest portion and uh, then you have uh, total PYT and your this is your balance finally, loan balance. So, for example, if you further continue, so we have seen that in the first year it was this one if you go to uh, if you go in the second year and uh, this is your uh, at the end of the second year this is which is your 24th payment. So, in the 24th payment uh, uh, your uh, PYT anyway will be only 733.76. Now, in the uh, 24th payment your monthly uh, principal portion that will be 78.18 and the monthly interest portion will certainly get uh, lesser because uh, the monthly principal portion will increase uh, as the time proceeds and monthly interest portion will decrease as the time proceeds. So, monthly interest portion in the 24th uh, you know payment will be 655.58 and uh, the uh, total will be 24 multiplied by 733.76. So, it will be uh, 17610.24 and your loan balance after 2 years is 98259.94. So, it means in 2 years basically uh, 1740.06 that much of only principal uh, you know amount has come down from 1 lakh. So, uh, we can further see that if you go to uh, uh, 10th year suppose. So, in the 10th year it is uh, uh, nothing but the 10 into 12 the 120th payment. So, in the 120th payment your PYT will still be 733.76 and the monthly principal portion has further increased. So, that has gone to 147.95 monthly uh, interest portion uh, basically has gone down and it will be has become 585.81 and uh, then uh, you have uh, uh, till date 120 uh, payments so 120 multiplied by 733.76 so 
So, uh, that becomes uh, 88051. So, it will be uh, for the 10th year it will be 88 uh, uh, you know uh, 051 and 0 0.20 and your balance uh, is 87724 0.70. So, this way uh, you go to now 20th year and uh, this 20th year means this is a 240th payment. This is a 240 uh, 40th number of payment in that uh, anyway 7 this will be 730.76 this will further increase uh, monthly price. you can uh, you can have a excel program and uh, from there you can directly calculate this so, there is no you know not much of the trouble in that because uh, you have uh, you know the calculation of mip first so that will be from the um, 1 lakh rupees for the first time and then and once you get get that, once you get get, get 733.76 by a formula, then rest things will be all based on the Excel programming. You can very well do it. Now, in the 20th year, the uh, monthly principal portion which will be deducted, it will be 328.38. And uh, in the um, uh, interest portion uh, in that uh, 20th year it will be 405.38 it has further gone down uh, 240 multiplied by 733 point uh, you know uh, uh, 76 so that will come out to be 176102.40 so that will be your uh, total uh, yearly payment what you have made uh, total uh, you know monthly payment which you have made and uh, your balance will be 6477.95. So, that you can basically uh, uh, calculate and in the end of uh, uh, you see 25th year if you see further. So, it is uh, 25 into 12, so it is 300, this will be again 733.76, then uh, you have uh, 489. 0.25, then you have uh, 244.51, and further uh, your uh, this becomes 2 lakh uh, 20 thousand uh, 128.00, and finally you have uh, left of 36188.09, and in the 30th year, if you see this is the final payment that is 360th payment. And in that uh, again you are paying only 733.76 your uh, monthly payment uh, now it has uh, uh, come come to 728.90 uh, and your this is coming as 4.86 and this is uh, 264 uh, 153.60 and this comes out to be 0. So, that is how uh, these uh, you what you see if you look at these two these slides you see that in the first month you have paid mpp as 67.09 and in, in the even in the first uh, year uh, you are paying the monthly per, uh, principal portion is 72.19 25th year it is 489.25 and in the last you are paying out of 733 you are paying basically 728 is being deducted from your uh, principal portion. So, interest portion is very very less towards the end because your outstanding balance is quite less in those cases and uh, finally, at the end your balance becomes 0. So, that is how uh, these schedules are being uh, calculated. So, uh, you can solve uh, different you know uh, problems uh, based on uh, such schedules and uh, get more and more confidence uh, by solving this, uh, such problems. For example, suppose uh, you may be told that uh, someone has uh, is interested to buy a um, house for himself and uh, he will be getting uh, you know uh, the house for dollar 98000. You know somebody wants to purchase a house for that and he has been told by uh, the you know mortgage officer that the best interest he will be getting uh, may be 5 percent interest if he takes the loan for 15 years maturity time. 
So, for that uh, you know uh, how uh, you know how much he will be the monthly payment uh, you know if you are told to calculate about it then uh, you can simply use that formula and you can get uh, you know the value like A will be 98000 and then you will be into R. So, R will be 0 0.05 by 12 then 1 minus then 1 point uh, 1 plus 0 0.05 by 12 and then there is uh, you know uh, uh, 15 years means 15 into 12 180 payments so it will be minus 180. So, if you uh, solve uh, that uh, you will be getting uh, 774.98 you know dollars. So, this way you can uh, get uh, you know you can uh, know what will be you know the payment uh, for any particular uh, you know maturity time at particular interest rate. Now, uh, what happens that uh, when uh, you are uh, taking the uh, you know uh, this loan now what happens that depending upon the interest rates basically the, the monthly payment uh, will be changing. Now, uh, if your interest so what you see that in this case the, the interest rate is uh, 5 percent and only for 15 years you are getting 774.98 whereas in the earlier case uh, uh, similar type of amount was there something like 1 lakh, but uh, your interest rate was 8 percent and your uh, time of maturity was uh, 30 years in that case you are getting 733.76. So, uh, so that is the, the difference in this case you are going to only complete your uh, you know whole payment in 15 years whereas, in that case you have to complete in uh, uh, 30 years and interest rate is little bit higher. So, how uh, with this interest rates your monthly payments vary uh, that also you can calculate and uh, the if you calculate that if you, you if you look at what is your annual percentage rate of interest. So, in that uh, if you have uh, different uh, you know uh, uh, percentage rates then what will be your uh, monthly payment. So, what will be monthly payment uh, for uh, maturity of uh, uh, you know uh, years. So, maturity year is suppose 1 or uh, maturity year is uh, basically maybe uh, 2 or suppose say 5 years or say suppose 10 years. So, in, in those cases if your APR annual percentage rate is changing suppose if you have the percentage rate of 1 percent in that case if your maturity is only 1 year or you are making only 12 payments then you can use the formula and what you see that uh, for a uh, rupees 1000 loan for 1000 loan you have to pay 83.79 rupees. So, uh, you are if the interest rate is only 1 percent in that case for the uh, 1 year of maturity you are paying 83.79 rupees that is 83.79 into 12 83 into 12 is 996 and 0.79 into 12 it will be 9.48. So, it is uh, 1005.48. So, you are only paying 5.48 rupees as the interest uh, overall, but anyway this is how uh, because of very small interest rate you are paying very small amount as the interest portion finally. So, if you take 2 years maturity time or 24 you know uh, months in that case it comes out to be 42.10. So, look at it 42 point from 42.10 you are paying for 24 you know uh, uh, payments. So, 24 means it will be 1008 plus 2.40 1010.40. So, 10.40 is the extra payment which you are making at only 1 percent of interest. So, this way uh, you know then if you mat uh, go for 5 years maturity it will be 17.09 and if you go for 10 years maturity it will be uh, you know uh, uh, you know if for 10 year maturity it will be 8.76. So, uh, this way you are depending upon the interest rates uh, it will be changing. Now, let us say if you take the 5 percent interest rate in that case uh, uh, this amount will be coming as 85.61 and at 5 percent interest rate for 2 years maturity it will be 43.87 and at 
at 5 percent interest rate for 5 years maturity uh, it will be 18.87 and at 5 percent interest rate for uh, 10 years maturity it will be 10.61. So, that is how what you see uh, the, 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 the things uh, vary. If you go for uh, you know uh, the 8 percent uh, case what you see that uh, for uh, uh, you know one uh, year maturity it will be 86.99 then for 2 years uh, maturity uh, you know it will be 45.23 then for uh, the uh, you know uh, 5 year maturity uh, with 8 percent it will be uh, 20.28 and for 10 years maturity uh, it will be so no this is for 8 years so for 8 years it will be 45.23 and then for it will be 20.2 yes and then it will be 12.11 uh, so it will be there for the uh, 10 years so what we see that uh, when we are uh, uh, charging you know uh, the this apr will increase now, what we see that with that uh, this value is also increasing uh, when the APR is increasing uh, and uh, when the uh, if you look at the maturity you know uh, uh, periods. Now, suppose uh, uh, you have the 5 years uh, you know or, or 1 year itself we have seen that when you are going for 10 years uh, maturity it means it is 120 months and 120 will be multiplied by uh, 8.76. So, uh, it will be something like uh, 26, 28 into 4. So, it will be uh, 10512. So, about 51 rupees, uh, 51.12 rupees extra we are paying. Here it is 5 rupees, here it is 51 rupees we are paying extra in, in, in such cases. So, uh, how these uh, you know interest rates changing how they are going to change the monthly payment that you can see from this table and this can also be programmed on excel you know programs or uh, even normal uh, you know uh, calculators also you can uh, purchase and you can have a schedule and have a feeling uh, you know that how uh, you are going to uh, calculate uh, this and uh, uh, in this case uh, uh, that's how we are uh, you know doing these calculations and getting that. Now, uh, you can also get the balance. So, when we have to uh, uh, we can also calculate that after some you know payments what is the you know uh, balance remaining. So, that also can be purchased suppose somebody has uh, given 12 payments. So, again uh, in that uh, you have to get the you know uh, uh, current value and uh, if suppose in the earlier problem where we had 360 payments if suppose somebody has given uh, 12 payments then what is the balance remaining that can be purchased that will be calculated and that can be seen. So, so that will uh, uh, help us to calculate what is the balance remaining uh, at particular date. So, the in, in place of 360 if you put 348 so that will give you the balance remaining and that will tell you the balance uh, from the table also you can uh, you know uh, clearly see and uh, reassure yourself. Thank you very much.